Hello, YouTubers, Ultra Sabers fans, Light Saber fans, Star Wars fans, everybody. <clears throat> In my last video that I posted, a lot of people are, you know, I just joined the uh, Saber Forum. I just bought, you know, my first Ultra Saber. Hadn't even received it yet. And I even bought a second one. Uh, because I decided, what's a saber without sound? Because I've seen so many videos and, you know, they're just, you know, that's about all the noise it makes when you click it on. And I remember how good the master replicas were. Anyways, those were, you know, produced by master replicas, which was using their license from Lucasfilm. Sabres were accurate, or the hilts, whatever. I even remember at one time, you know, I posted on MySpace. When I first got those, I was, like, excited. Because when you turn them on, the saber, like, the, the light literally looks like it's coming out of the hilt and expanding to the tip of the blade that's actually, you know, the clear plastic, it kind of looks like glass or plastic or whatever, sword part, cylinder, kind of like a neon light. Anyway, um, fluorescent light, whatever. Um, so I was remembering that I know the Ultra Sabers, their lead, the light is in the hilt like a flashlight so when you turn it on it turns on that's you know on off that's it like flipping a light switch the hat uh i guess hasbro some of them but the master replica um the leds there's i guess 36 what 38 leds i don't know something like that there's basically it's like a christmas lights in a way on a string that so when you turn it on you know the beginning lights at the bottom start first and then just gradually builds its way up to look like a sword coming out of the hilt so remember the custom swords that you can hit things with extremely hard or full out contact these Ultra Sabers, Saber Forge, whatever, any of those type of things, the customs, those do not do that. It's like turning on a flashlight, but if you have sound effects, it kind of, it helps. And it's like 10 million times better because you forget. <laughs> you for, kind of forget that. when you If you buy what they call a stunt saber where it's nothing more than a hilt and the plastic tube the white polycarbonate blade or whatever they call it that um, lights up it's kind of like turning on a glow stick but when you swing it around it looks better uh anyways so, I can say this because I've seen the reviews, and I have now actually officially got my first Ultra Saber. It came in the you know, FedEx, uh, I don't know what time it is, but like two hours ago, something like that. I've already made a unboxing video, but I have another Saber coming in three days on Thursday that shipped... Uh, technically today but they boxed it up yesterday but that was a Sunday so I'm going to kind of do a comparison because the one that I have now is just a regular lead it's green and I got two different saber I guess sword parts one of them is a mid-grade one of them is an ultra edge mid-grade so you can see a vast difference between those two and then I also then my new saber is actually uh, Adigan Silver plus color discs. 
so I can show you the difference when I unbox that. Plus it has sound, it has the windows, you know, all the little fixings. I didn't get flash unclash. I didn't know that you could do that with that again silver. I thought because it's supposed to, when you clash, it normally is silver and or white or whatever. So uh, I was looking on there the ones that you can do that with if you have Adigan Silver the default for the clashing part was actually Arctic Blue which is like supposed to be Luke Skywalker from A New Hope you know before they re digitally mastered it and turned it you know different color blue so I think I'm just going to put those up at the same time because I told a lot of people to put this up today but um, let's see if I can pull it out here. I actually got it right next to me under my bed. <laughs> but um, I didn't know where to put it. This thing's so long. It's like uh, almost four feet long altogether. So, you know, I think it's got like a nine and a half inch hilt. It's got a 36 inch ultra edge mid grade blade. But anyway, I already got it now, and so I'm going to, I'll post those, I'll post the unboxing and the reviews probably later, and maybe this week, or weekend, and I'm just tired, so, eyes are red. These things look way different than... Um, some guy sent me a link to some other guy's website where he turns on the lightsaber. It kind of, it looks like a polycarbonate blade, just like it does when it's not lit up, but it turns like, uh, kind of orangish red or, but you can clearly see that it's a plastic blade, um, with like a light inside of it, kind of. It. Maybe it depends on your film quality or camera quality, but when you light these things up, they look real. When you light it up, when you're holding the camera in front of it, or behind it, <laughs> and you have the saber in front of it, when you turn that thing on, I know a lot of people have seen this. It's like uh, I've seen a lot of people, when they first turn it on, it doesn't look like, a light bulb that turned on real bright it looks like like if they CGI you know the white with the glowing color around it of whatever color your saber is supposed to be it looks real in cameras it looks real but when you get it it does not look like that it does not look like a special effect from a movie <laughs> where you actually... Nobody's going to confuse that special effect with a light-up bulb. Everybody know Anybody that sees is going to know it's a long piece of plastic that's lit up from the inside. Nobody in the world is ever going to um, confuse it for an energy beam coming out of a hill that has no plastic in it or anything like that. No one's going to ever confuse it for that. So they really do not look like movie. They do not look like the movie. Um, maybe when you turn off the lights, it starts getting dark. It may look somewhat better. I know the darker it is, the better they look, the brighter they are. I'm actually going to get it out right now um, because I was completely shocked and amazed by what this thing looks like because when I was doing my unboxing, and you'll see it, you'll see my real reaction because I've never seen these before. I was looking at it through the camera, and so you can you when I turned it on I was like holy crap that looks amazing here we go see kind of looks like a Yoda 
just an initiate B2 LE. If you want to know what the LE means, it's just it's got stripes on it, gold. I actually love it, but this thing is it feels like it's stainless steel, it's definitely solid, but it's slippery. I'm gonna probably have to wear gloves just to twirl it around or do anything with it. Just just holding it, the sweat or grease or whatever from your hand. I don't see how anybody's supposed to hold this thing because it's you know it's super smooth in the middle there and on the top, and it's extremely tiny. It's like this right here. This part is only the size of like a silver dollar a yeah, half dollar is bigger it's like a silver dollar maybe not even that big look at that that sucker looks like it's out of a movie that looks like a real beam <laughs> coming out it looks like I'm in Star Wars literally it there's no I mean that is shocking, amazing. This is an Ultra Saber. This is the cheapest, almost the cheapest possible lightsaber you can get. And that's what it looks like on camera. It's white with green glowing out of it. I'll try to... See, I'm putting the camera like literally right up to it. See that green? That looks kind of like stew green. Yeah, think of it like 10 times brighter and like fluorescent. See the edge. So when you see these on camera, when the people are doing reviews over these, that's what it looks like. I mean, that looks so good. But... When you get, get this thing, and you, uh, let's see, what, it's supposed to turn off. Okay, well, it turned off backwards, it looked like, and the camera. So the camera even it looks like it's coming out of the hilt and lighting up, or, see, well, uh, like a laser. I was doing it for, see? It's like, boom. <laughs> it looks like a laser blast like someone shooting something it does not, that's another thing when you turn this on and off it's just the delay from cheap cameras and cell phones or digital or I don't know what it is but for whatever reason they do that in digital on these things but they don't do that in real life it's just simple click 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 like a flashlight it is nothing more, but so anyway, if you have a master replica sword, there's two versions of this blade. See, I think the that might look the same. This is I'm not even sure I showed this one in my unboxing video. Actually, yeah, I did. This is the first one I showed. And the little one, I got two blades. This is the 36 inch mid grade ultra edge blade that I'm showing you right now. And looks like a lime green glow stick <laughs> when it's not on camera. To... See, so you can see it right there against that plastic. Um, a little bit, even on there, see there you go, that right there, see it's just like a long stick that's lit up a different color, that's really what it looks like, but it is solid green, there's no white to it, there's no white at all, it's a heavily glorified flashlight.
this sucker, I mean, if you take that hilt, I mean, you take the blade out of the hilt, you do not want to look at that. It will instantly put spots in your eyes like a laser beam. <laughs> you do not want to look at it. So, I highly recommend you don't do that. You can blind yourself, possibly. Especially if you put it up real close to your eye. If you're examining it. Do not do that. So, um, yeah. So, I'll do a full review. I post my unboxing soon. I'm going to put the other one on there. See, that looks so much cooler on the video. But, um... I like this blade a lot better though. Uh, I think. I really don't know what I think about it yet. I really don't. <laughs> I just, I don't know what to think. Maybe, maybe par partially because if you look at it, the hilt is more or less the same size as the actual sword that sticks out of it. There we go, sort of like that. If you hold it this way, you can see it's not really much bigger. Actually, it's smaller. <laughs> it's got to be smaller because it fits inside of it. So if you hold it at an angle, yeah. But if I mean, if you look directly down it, like this or something, it gives you a better. Now that looks white. That looks like a white, you know, energy beam or whatever from the movie. Now, see right there, see how skinny that is? That's what it really is. And, but imagine that as a lime green, like, lamp. Like a lava lamp, maybe. That's what you're really getting. You're not getting anything that's white on the inside and glows green all around a white bulb. That is not what you're getting. You can't say that enough. <laughs> But it looks so good, you know, when you swing it around a little bit, swing it around, you kind of forget a little bit. That's not a lightsaber. But, yeah, so I'll post the other reviews later. But for now, I just... Uh, that's what I'm doing.